If you have a little girl in your life, there's a good chance you know all about the American Girl dolls. Each is designed to look just like her young owner. Yeah, that's right. The dolls can share your eye color, hair color, or even skin tone. But what if you've lost your hair? Well, the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with the story of Bella, an Alpharetta girl with a very big dream. And Sine and Tom, you are absolutely going to love Bella. She's only nine years old, but she got her first American Girl doll when she was only about 10 days old from her grandmother. So she knows the power and the comfort of having a really nice doll. And that's why Bella wants to make sure every young girl facing cancer can have a doll that looks like her. Bella Fricker lives in her own American Girl world. I just really liked having them and playing with them. I would say they're like her best friends. The Alpharetta third grader has more than a dozen American Girl dolls. They like they go shopping, go out to dinner. Sometimes she has to put every single solitary doll in jammies before we go to bed. That takes forever. And a few months ago, Bella noticed this doll. We saw it on the American Girl catalog. Instead of having the usual thick, shiny American girl hair, her head is smooth and bald because she's been designed for girls going through cancer or alopecia or another type of hair loss. And immediately, Bella wanted this doll. What were you going to do with it? We were going to give it to a little girl that's going through chemo. But these dolls have to be specially ordered, and they're $115 a piece, not including shipping and the accessories. So Bella got beading. I go upstairs, she had opened up this table, made a sign, and was just busting out bracelets. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I started a business. A business making and selling bracelets. On a Facebook page her mom created called Peace Love Bracelets. Bella has sold about 500 of them, teaming up with Kids Boost, a local nonprofit that helps children fundraise like this so that they can give back to their community. And I said, why, why? Why are you doing this? She's like, I just want to make a little girl feel happy that's in the hospital. A little girl like eight-year-old Nora Ajakpo. Her name is Bethany. Nora, a third grader from Hampton, was diagnosed last April with a cancerous brain tumor and had been begging her parents for an American Girl doll for months. Then just before Christmas, at her final chemotherapy session here at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Aflac Cancer Center, Bella, a stranger, surprised her out of the blue with Bethany. She loved it. She made my daughter happy that day. She was so happy enjoying the doll. She kept giving me a hug. Nora now brings Bethany to every appointment. If I have her with me, it's going to be better because then I, I don't have to worry about my hair being lost and because I have her and she doesn't have hair. And Bethany is just one of three dolls Bella has donated so far. It's been awesome. I feel really good about myself by helping somebody else. Because to Nora, this doll who looks just like her and shares her story is both beautiful and everything. What I want to say about Bella is um, thank you for giving me a doll and, and may God bless you and be with you. And you may have noticed that the dolls have a hospital gown. And the only way to get one of those gowns is when you send your doll off to American Girl to their doll hospital for repairs. And then the doll is sent back with the gown. You cannot buy these gowns. So to help Bella out, people have been donating their doll's hospital gowns to her and to this effort to match the dolls up with the gown. And if you'd like to support Bella's mission, we'll have a link to her Facebook page on fox5atlanta.com. Just click on the health tab and look for this story. And she doesn't always know, um, Sine and Tom, ahead of time, you know, the exact skin tone of the girl that she's going to be giving the gift to. So she just sometimes has to kind of approximate and, and try to get it right. Now, eventually, Nora's going to get her hair back, and yes. her doll can get her hair back, too. Yes, this is kind of awesome. Um, under the deal, when you have one of these dolls, you can send the doll off for free when you're ready and your hair comes back in. An American girl at their doll hospital will fix the doll and send you back a doll mm. with the hair the texture and the color and everything that you want. So she's going to have beautiful black curly hair. Yeah. You know how special soon. dolls or stuffed animals are to little girls. Yeah. So this is great. It is. Thank you, Beth. Thank you.